Today we'll discuss the benefit for Gage Guffey. Feature Speed School with Coach Bard. Uncover the urban legends of Winnetonka. And find out if those New Year's resolutions are still going strong. Here on Tonka Talks. Oxbridge, what up, man? Let's go! Let's go. Good morning, Winnetonka. I'm Randy Jackson. And I'm Kayla Douglas. Welcome back to Tonka Talks. Power Buff Volleyball signups are coming soon. If you're a junior or senior guy and you're interested in participating, contact Sarah Kumpf, Chanel Holden, Angelica Chavez, or Sophia Timmerier. The Power Buff Volleyball competition will be Friday, March 6th, but teams are forming now. Many Winnetonka students came from Maple Park Middle School and are still Vikings at heart with MPMS spirit. Akira, Sally, Gracie, and Jocelyn set out to find Maple Park's assistant principal, Dr. Guffey, to share her heart-tugging story about her son, Gage. You might have seen dozens of students and faculty staying after school creating bowls. It was all a part of a fundraiser for Maple Park's principal, Dr. Guffey's son, Gage. Uh, Dr. Tricia Guffey is an assistant principal at Maple Park Middle School, and her infant son was born with uh, condition where his, the bones of his skull were fused together. Faculty and students of all ages came to be a part of the fundraiser to raise money for the surgery. This fundraiser was to help um, Hi, you can get ahead. funds for the family to pay for medical bills for the son's third surgery that just happened in December. For the people who weren't able to contribute to the bowl making for the auction, there are other ways you can help. There's three ways people can contribute to this. First of all, advertise and invite people. Um, social media is huge for community service events and fundraisers like this, so we would appreciate it if anyone could invite others. And they can walk away with their bowl and take it home and use it for salsa or um, you know, chili soup. Um, secondly, people can come into Cafe A here at Wanatonka on Wednesday the 28th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m and we'll have the silent auction at that point, which means all the glazed chili bowls from all over the district will be in our cafeteria and people would be able to bid on the bowl that they would like to purchase. Auction takes place in Cafe A here at Winnetonka at 4 p.m. and will go until 6.30. Please come support the Guffey family. Whether or not you went to Maple Park and know Dr. Guffey, you can still help Gage. The chili supper and silent auction will be held Wednesday the 28th if you have any questions, see Ms. Cassidy and Art for details. Students, the Gift of Life Assembly will be this Friday. We will be listening to speakers who have been impacted by organ donation. A form will be handed out to all students at the end of the assembly. The advisory class with the most forms turned in by Monday, February 2nd, will receive a pizza party. As a social studies teacher and coach, Mr. Barge is very involved and is full of Tonka pride. And he's not just coaching football anymore. Chase and Dalton sat down with Coach Barge to get the scoop on Speed School. We got a chance to catch up with the new head track coach, Jared Barge, and asked him what he would like to bring to the program here at Winnetonka High School. Well, my big, my number one um, most important thing I want to do is get more kids involved. It's a great opportunity for kids that don't have a place in athletics to come out and, and uh, have a place to be and a place to compete and get better. And, uh, and also, I think track a track program is really important to all the other sports in our school. Um, not, I don't know another sport that doesn't want faster, quicker, stronger students or athletes involved. So that's kind of the big push I have. Coach Barge is implementing a new off-season conditioning program called Speed School. He explained to us what exactly Speed School is. Well, the speed school thing is just a focus, and it's not a, lot, a not a big difference from what we've done in our football off season in the past. But what we're trying to do is get every student involved, and and the focus being mostly on improving speed. So every day we do something that is that revolves around, and there's lots of different activities we do. But the main focus and the reason why I, I decided to go with speed school was that that's going to be our number one focus in the off season. If you're interested in joining track or participating in speed school, make sure you talk to Coach Barge in room C20. Theater shorts will begin showing this Thursday, January 29th. 
Shorts is a series of short plays created and directed by Tonka's Theatre 4 students. Make sure to check it out and see Dr. Kaufman with questions or for more details. Speaking of questions, almost all students here at Tonka, from freshmen to seniors, have questioned the rumors and urban legends of the school. Paige, Jacob, Zoe, and yours truly explored the school's history to uncover what is fact and what is fake. There are rumors about a theater ghost. We asked Dr. Kaufman about possible reasoning behind the rumors and speculation. Um, before I came to Winnetonka, there was a director for Northland Actors Ensemble, and she was up in the catwalk, and unfortunately, she was coming down the ladder and fell into the little concrete area below. This is the ladder where the person fell and died. You can see it's a straight fall into concrete. It's said if you're in the theater alone, you will hear haunting noises. Well, I've certainly heard sounds, but I'm not sure that I could say they're really a ghost. But you never know. I'm here above the lower level gym to dive into the urban legend of the pool on the roof. As you see behind me, there is no sight of a pool. In you may not know this, but our school is sinking. Even though the thought of this may be far-fetched and terrifying, there is evidence everywhere, inside and outside of our school. The school is held up by these five beams. This area used to be a parking lot for students before it sank in. You can see the downhill slope, proof that our school is sinking. If you go into the girls' locker room, you may feel like someone is watching you. Legend has it that a girl who went to school here long ago haunts this locker room. So is it true? Um, I've been here 28 years. Um, evidently, there's some rumor going around about at some point in the history of this school that some young lady took her own life in the girls' locker room. That never happened. Even if you get goosebumps in the locker room, no worries, there's no need to be alarmed. You know, my house is supposed to be haunted. Mine too. We should team up and see if we can catch these ghosts. I'll consider it. Relay for Life is up and running. If you want to participate, you need to get signed up with a group. See Mrs. Green in C22 to learn how you can support the American Cancer Society. It's a good way to give back to the community in the first few months of the new year. New Year's passed earlier this month, and with New Year's comes new resolutions. How long do those goals really last, though? Erica and Layla went around to see if people's resolutions supported their expectations, or if they had to face reality. My New Year's resolution is to get healthy, and I really, really want to do it, so I think I'm going to join 24-hour fitness. I'm a little nervous because I feel like the hours aren't going to work for me. My New Year's resolution is to drink more water to be more healthier. For example, My New Year's resolution was to not let my frustration show. I just try to every year, throughout the year, try to do something new and different all the time. My New Year's resolution is to fart freely, okay, not shave my legs, and not do my eyebrows because I don't care. I live 365 days out of the year. My New Year's resolution is always today. Today is the resolution. <laughs> I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't keep. I'm going to start eating so healthy. I'm going to work out more. I'm not going to sleep in class anymore. I think I'm going to study more. to Mr. and Mrs. Mickey Mouse. The town's in jubilation, the people are bright. Student schedule building starts this week. During that time, consider signing up for Tonka Talks. If you're a student who is motivated to learn, committed to their team members, and willing to work hard, come join our crew. Information can be picked up outside of C5. If you're thinking about a career in broadcast journalism, Tonka Talks needs you. That's all this week, Tonka. I'm Kayla Douglas. And I'm Randall Jackson. See you next week for more Tonka Talks.